this uh this sign for our chicken coop for christmas thanks mom i'm just gonna go ahead and hang it up right now before i give you a quick uh update on some of our chickens yesterday was a uh, kind of a graduation day for some of our chickens the uh uh, the first round of chickens that we grew up in our mini cooper, the little uh, mobile chicken coop that I built uh, earlier this year. Uh, they're getting close to uh, the age where they'll start laying eggs. So we're gonna, we, last night, we moved them into the chicken coop and uh, we do it at night because I guess it's supposed to be uh, an easier transition for them. Uh, versus throwing them in there in the daytime when all the chickens are really active and will um, definitely pick on each other trying to reestablish a pecking order. It's a good time for us to also uh, cull the herd a little bit on these uh, uh, older chickens. Um, our older chickens are just eating as much as they ever did, which we have to, we have to buy their food and uh, they're not laying as many eggs as they uh, had before, so they're not really pulling their own weight. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, slaughter them for meat. I don't think we're gonna actually film any of that process. It's uh, just an un unnecessary, brutal, who wants to watch that? Who wants to watch us do it? I mean, um, you know, we, we don't have all the, the you know, the experience to really learn how to do it well from us, so why why watch us kind of uh, struggle through our first round of uh, chicken slaughtering? But uh, I guess you know this video is kind of about uh, what it's like to uh, to do that kind of a thing for the first time. What is it? What does it feel like? It's it's not our our it's not my first time for killing a chicken. We had uh, two roosters for a while, and uh, they would just tear each other to pieces. It was uh, it was pretty horrible there for a little while, and I had to choose one of the chickens to uh, to get rid of. And it was a pretty easy decision. I just got rid of the most annoying crowing chicken in the morning, uh, Gray Poupon. Um, that was his name. We've moved nine chickens from the Mini Cooper into the new coop, into the, into the big coop, regular coop. And uh, we've got 11 chickens that we've taken out of the coop and we put into the Mini Cooper uh, waiting to be, um, to be slaughtered. Two of those are roosters, actually. The one that, rooster that we've had all along, socks and uh, a newer rooster that uh, that we didn't know was a rooster when we bought him as a baby chicken. Um, strangely, those two chickens, two roosters, uh, seem to get along pretty well. Usually that's not the case, but, you know, we want to, uh, we're not really trying to breed our own chickens. Chickens are so cheap to buy as, as baby chicks, plus, you get a much higher percentage of uh, hens to roosters when you do it that way. That it just makes sense for us to uh, 
to buy live chickens rather than try to hatch chickens from our own eggs. Anyway, it's, it's all part of the learning process. We might change our mind about that later. Who knows? Um, so yeah, yeah, two roosters and the rest of them are hens, old hens that we're, uh, we're getting rid of. <sighs> Big step for us, uh, a new, uh, new experience on the homestead. All right, so mostly I'm just gonna talk about the process of us uh, butchering the chickens rather than show it. The first step is to segregate your chickens so you can just give them water uh, and no food for about a day. It's just easier to uh, um, butcher the chickens if they don't have the food going through their system. Uh, so we're using the Mini Cooper, our, our mobile chicken coop, as a, uh, as a temporary holding area for the older hens and those two roosters that we were, uh, that we're gonna, gonna slaughter. I'll go show you the, uh, the setup we have under the carport. So you might remember from uh, building the uh, outdoor kitchen sink and uh, vegetable washing station that we had this back um, bar here put on with a cone for killing the chickens. And uh, that's exactly what it's for. You grab the chickens by the feet, hang them upside down. They uh, quickly become relaxed in that position. You lower the chicken right into the cone kind of reach underneath and pull the head down through a little so you can uh, get access to the uh, to the neck and that's how the actual killing is done you take a sharp knife and uh, slice the neck and let it bleed out it is a little disturbing um, with the you know the movement after the chicken is dead um, but it's well contained in the cone and it's not a lot of blood splatter or anything like that. There's a, there's a bucket underneath to catch the blood and you just dilute that with a lot of water and uh, we're throwing the blood um, and the, you know, diluted with water out on our compost uh, piles um, uh, out there mostly because we don't want to attract any kind of animals up closer to the house where our rabbits are or out where our chickens are um, and it should it should be just fine for the compost the next step is uh, scalding and we've got this uh, propane set up here with a little outdoor uh, grill to, to heat the water. It has to be about 140, 150 degrees. Um, should take maybe, I don't know, maybe about a minute, maybe a little less. And the feathers become um, easy enough to just kind of tug out rather than really have to pluck them. You don't want to do it too long, otherwise the skin, I guess, will get a little too cooked a little too soft and it'll just kind of rip in the plucking process but um, once it's scalded we put it into the the plucking machine here and it's uh just set up with a the garden hose so it has a water supply and and plugged into an outdoor outlet for the the power and it just spins the thing like crazy and uh, all those little uh, finger jabber things just uh, pluck the chicken pretty well and it takes yeah it takes about a minute maybe a little less than that as well we've done two chickens already and here's the uh that's the uh, bucket of feathers they come out the bottom I've got uh, holes in that bucket so the water drains out 
and uh, found that it just works a lot better putting it up on little uh, scraps of 2x4s to, uh, to facilitate a little bit more of the drainage. At that point, the chicken's actually ready to uh, start the, uh, the cutting process. And we come over here, we'll have a cutting board set up and our, and our gut bucket down there to uh, catch the organs. Um, the first step is to cut the legs off. And then you take the, uh, the neck off. I'm just describing it here. You can look this up on other YouTube channels to really see how it's done. We did save the feet and the necks for cooking stock. Then you go in uh, on the underbelly and uh, make some incisions and literally just reach in and scoop out all of the uh, internal organs. Kind of let them hang outside the chicken down, down below from the intestine to its its butthole and you cut its butthole right on out and the whole the whole caboodle just goes right down into the gut bucket you have to kind of scrape and get get all the little bits and pieces out sometimes the lungs seem to be a little bit harder to get out they kind of stick on the inside um yeah then we use the the sink itself to uh to just kind of wash off the chicken and um, at that point, it's uh, more or less ready to be uh, ready to be frozen. We actually let the chickens rest for a couple of days in the fridge before we freeze them. It is nice to have a few extra buckets around just to swap out if uh, water from the sink is is filling them up and you need to move move them before they get too heavy or uh, if a gut bucket is getting too full or anything like that. We've now had a, a chance to butcher all of the chickens that we were intending to. And uh, it did get a little easier as you went along. Um, it's kind of interesting. We had a lot of different breeds of chickens uh, that we were working with at the same time. Like I said before, they were all older. So all of this meat is uh, going to be what's referred to as uh, stew chickens. It's a little too tough uh, to be the, the traditional juicy meat that everybody's used to eating nowadays. It has to be uh, cooked longer so it'll be tender enough. Um, there's a lot of differences between each chicken. Um, some of them are a bit, little bit larger, some of them are smaller. Uh, I've got pretty big hands so it's actually physically a little difficult to actually reach inside and scoop out all those guts at once trying to trying to make make all that work sometimes um, some of the chickens had a lot more fat um, pronounced you know more fat fatty tissues inside the the bird itself some of the chickens had a lot more unformed uh, eggs in the system itself which was uh, you know you never knew what you're gonna find when you go in and start doing the process. Wendy and I worked pretty well as a team, even though it was a little stressful for us and what we were, what we were doing. Um, I did all the actual um, killing and um, eviscerating. Uh, Wendy was doing the, the scalding and the, uh, the cleaning of the chicken and getting all the final feathers plucked out that didn't come out in the plucking machine. Um, she did. She was a lot better at me at getting out like little, little lung tissue pieces that were stuck inside the chicken. She was just, just better at that right now. Yeah, it's a, it was a good, good experience for us. I'm glad we did it, and uh, we'll we'll do it again. Um, you know when it's time. There are episodes where I just really want to step back and, and think about what it is I want to say. And um, I guess what's important from, uh, from my experience here with butchering the chickens and, uh, and the rabbits is, uh, is it's okay to struggle with things. 
Um, I'm struggling to, to do a good, to try and do a good job of, uh, of this process and struggling to, to do it at all. Um, doing, uh, doing what's, what's right and what's, what's, uh, most sustainable for us here, um, is to go ahead and, and eat some of our animals. It's, uh, it's okay not to feel okay about that process. It may take a while to, uh, for that all to, to really be okay. Um, maybe you're uh, dealing with something, you have to make a difficult decision. Um, maybe you've been avoiding doing something difficult because you know you're not gonna feel really good about it at the time. And it might take a while for, for, uh, for it to feel all right, but it's okay to struggle with things. It's part of being human. It's what, uh, what helps us uh, change and grow. <laughs> so we'll do a little, uh, um, a little tribute to our rooster named Socks. He was one of the very first chickens we actually named. He had these little feathers on his feet, so it looked like he had uh, oversized socks, uh, hence the name. Uh, I've got a picture of him as a baby and then in his prime, and I've got a, a shot of what, what he looked like after the, uh, after the fight with Grey Poupon. And, uh, and then, of course, the last picture we took of him, which was in the in the cone itself. So uh, it's uh, he had a good he had a good life. You know, he was in charge of that uh, chicken coop for a long time, and uh, I remember being really disappointed when I found out that Sox was a, in fact a rooster because um, I knew we, we really didn't need any roosters you don't need a rooster for uh, the hens to lay eggs it's just uh, you need the rooster to fertilize the eggs if you want to hatch your own chickens <sighs> really we probably should have uh, we probably should have killed and eaten Sox a long time ago uh, rather than waiting three years. Um, but it's been our, pro our process. Uh, we weren't ready to do that. I could rationalize it and say we, uh, we didn't have the infrastructure built uh, to really do the, the chickens. We didn't have a lot of our equipment um, to do the slaughtering. You know, we weren't really ready to go yet, but uh, Really, we just didn't want to want to kill socks. That's that's kind of what it came down to. Um, and, you know, it's it's not an easy thing to do, um, but I think it'll I think it'll get easier as we have more experience with this.